with the Boston Review. Came with Awesome TV here, and we have mail call number two from Toy Wiz. Uh, a, they have a actual website, but they have an Amazon site too. So, uh, really small package. Uh, small, it took five days, so it came pretty fast. So it's, Just know I was opening it and then, uh, yeah, I mean, but I got interrupted. So there's the uh, receipt and the eight tens. They didn't actually throw in any uh, freebies because by the time I told them it was too late. So just gonna do this out. Came in this little bag, so we have the, uh, uh, I think this is a saw vest. I think it has like a bunch of ammo clips. Um, the XM345, it's a gun from Destiny, but I'm gonna pack and punch it in with my own Call of Duty weapon. And the M249 Para, so it's come in these really small bags, so these bags will come in handy. So these bags will come in handy for me. Okay, so this is a brand new weapon that was released from GI Brick. Uh, so it has a removable mag. So you basically, it looks like that it comes in two pieces and you just slide the mag into the little slot. And it looks like that. So I'm going to get rid of my pistol and replace it with this. Um, so when I find like the sights and everything like that, then I will go ahead and um, I will just go ahead and put that on to make a video about it. Um, next thing we have is the saw vest, which is for my riot guy. So I'm going to just take off this old armor and put on this new armor and we'll see if it looks any better or not. It does. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I think it looks a lot better now. Uh, it has this little slot for like a backpack or something, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna just put him back on here. And the last weapon is the XM345. So, uh, just gonna slide this out. Um, there's multiple ways to get this weapon. Uh, you just, again, it's a little two-piece thing. There should be a slot right there, and you just, I think that's how it goes. Pretty sure, yeah. So it just pops into there. Uh, that looks pretty sweet. So the uh, the M249 Para and The uh, XM345 have removable mags, so that's pretty cool. And if you have like the ACS or the Atomi gun magazine, you can take this one off and put it there and make your own custom gun. Uh, but what's different about the M249 saw and the M249 saw para is that the M249 saw para actually has a scope, which I'll be painting a little bit of detail on those when I get a chance to. So I think that looks really good with my sig fig now. Now that I got a heavier machine gun to take out zombies with. So that's pretty cool. And let's see. So if I do I think I have, yeah. So I have a so here's what a brick arms weapon looks like. This is my first ever brick arms weapon. That's not a bootleg. So there's a Brick Arms one. Not sure if you can see that or not. Uh, so that's the Brick Arms one. It's what a Modern Brick Warfare one looks like. And a Modern Brick Warfare one. Started uh, experimenting with like my own custom camo for the sniper rifles and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
think we're going to give it to this guy. So we're going to take out this whole Taylor weapon. Give him that. Yeah, that looks cooler. That looks a lot cooler. Now it won't fit in his hand. Dang it. Because of how I made the exosuit for him. Alright, we'll have to put it in the unicorn girl's hand since it's a little bit closer. So that's what it, that's what it looks like. Um, I'm not going to use it as a destiny gun. Like I said, I'm going to just use it as a, a pack-a-punch weapon for Call of Duty. So that I got in flat black because that was the only color that it's available in currently. Um, this one's also available in black. That This one's available in different colors, but... Uh, that's that so that's basically the order um, so for each thing it was about a dollar fifty for each item so not really that much um, and like about I think it was a dollar eighty for shipping for each thing I think so it didn't er yeah I think so um, yeah, I think, is it peelable? Yeah, they're peelable. I don't know why they'd send me this way. Unless it was, I don't know. Don't actually know. Unless this is, oh, so. So their labels, if anything came damaged, they didn't, but I had to get more plastic bags out of it. So that's pretty good. You can put like custom zombie parts in there. Uh, like this one that I'm working on. Uh, so yep, uh, that's it. Not a long video, uh, really quick. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, but if you want to buy brick arms, I suggest going to GI Brick because it's a bit cheaper and uh, it's in the actual brick arms family. Uh, so that's basically it, guys. Um, I'm going to go and uh, just uh, go ahead and get customized and stuff and probably do a little bit of customizing later. I'll watch a Saturday stream later on. Uh, <clears throat> See you on the mock-off. And uh, that's basically it, guys. So this is Everything is Awesome TV. Same as always, stay awesome.